All right, guys, now it's time to get into something really fun, which is called an image mask in OBS. This can mask out really nice curves in different areas of your video to make it look that much more professional. I think it's pretty cool. We're going to do a couple image masks right now. I'm also going to show you how to make them in Photoshop so that you can make your own. So first of all, how the heck does all this work? Well, if you've been following along, we just did a color correction and a LUT to this camera, but let's step back and make sure everyone's on the same page. So first of all, our camera, right, is right here. This is our camera source. And we need to actually have two different cameras in here because we're gonna create a mask. We want a background and a foreground. So I'm gonna add one more camera, actually an NDI source, and I have a ceiling camera already ready to go. And there's my ceiling camera. You guys may remember this. I'm going to transform it and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees because it was upside down. Boom. Put it in the background of my front camera. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into filters. Filters is where we can pretty much start editing and adding things to any of our video sources. So you can see here, I've actually already got a color correction in the LUT. Give me one second. I got to slide this thing up. I don't know why it always does that. We go. All right, now I'm gonna hit the plus button and I have to do what is called an image mask. Now, basically, we are going to have a alpha colored channel mask and there's gonna be a lot of different options. So I'm gonna go into that with you guys in just a second. We'll see which one we like best. But in the course uh, files here, which you will find, we've got Kicker, image mask, OBS, video sync tool, the split screen, the stinger. We're looking for image mask here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this as well. But boom, look at that. It actually came in pretty nice. That's a circle right around me. Let's see how that looks. Boom, look at that. Image mask. I just created a circle around myself. Isn't that cool? It's called an image mask. So let's uh, take a look at some of the other settings that we have here uh, in filters just to see if we want to change anything here. So that worked out really well. Um, if we, do, there is no alpha channel, it's just a black and white file. Let's, let's look at that file uh, in just a second here and that's blend. So let's take a look at the file so that you guys can see exactly how I made it and how you guys can create your own. So this is the file in Photoshop. It is literally a white circle in a 1000 by 1000 black space. And I'm gonna save this as image circle mask as a Photoshop file so that you guys, if you'd like, can have access to it and play around with it. Now, let's just do something fun. Uh, let's just add like a little thought bubble. So add just a little more. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to just paint that little thought bubble white. Make my brush just a little bigger here. All right two more little thought bubbles so that it's almost as if like I'm thinking and these little bubbles are coming out of my head. You guys can do whatever you want with this. This is just an example here. And then one more little tiny one. Okay. So now we just added a couple more little pieces to the puzzle. And now we're going to go ahead and hit save. And we're going to save as. Get rid of those if you just want to plain circle here. Image, circle image, and then I'm going to say with bubbles. Boom. Click OK. Now, let's go ahead and add that one and see how we like it. With bubbles. Boom, look at that. So, exactly what I said. It's essentially little bubbles coming out of the back of my head. Kind of cool, right? I mean, you could do almost anything you want with this. I just wanted to kind of show you how it works. That is how a image mask works in OBS. It's pretty powerful. You can do a lot with that. You can apply it to any video source in your OBS production. So I hope your head's spinning here. Stars, shapes, different things to make your productions look even cooler. See you guys soon.